And what exactly is going on in our schools, Josh? This story is very upsetting. I'm very angry about it. Let's get on with this and let's sort it out. So, sex work is rewarding. That is what some pupils were told uh, in, by education providers. Uh, basically, the schools are bringing in these external um, consultants or whatever to teach their pupils, and we're talking about primary schools and secondary schools, uh, to teach them about sex and relationships. And the people they're bringing in are absolutely appropriate... Uh, inappropriate, sorry. And the stuff that they are teaching them about kink, about underage sex, about masturbation is, is unbelievable. And you read this article, I recommend people go and find this in the Times, find it online, whatever, if you can, do the description, because this, the stuff that they lay out here is... And it's criticised, they've been criticised, and I think rightly so, as sex abuse. And if my kids have been taught this, and I've just had... My 9-year-old and my 13-year-old have just had exactly these lessons, not with any of this stuff, but I did... And we'll get into that in a second. But some of the stuff, as it says here, is bordering on illegal. You have this company called Bish and this guy called Justin Hancock. And what he's te- one of the things he's writing online is that a 14-year-old is queering uh, a 16-year-old. They're having, having, using the withdrawal method or whatever. And they're talking about... He, and he's saying that, no, you wouldn't get pregnant, don't worry about it. He doesn't say, by the way... That's illegal. illegal. <laughs> yeah. And he also goes on to recommend lubricant during anal sex. I mean, this is insane. And it's not just, like, this one person. It's, like, a bunch of these companies. They're coming in with this stuff. What are they teaching our kids? They're too young, you know. Is this secondary? Or... This is secondary school, but 100,000 young people. But not only... No, but it's not just secondary. In primary school, a nine-year-old last week, I suppose, went back in tears, basically, to their mum because they were, being, they were taught about rape. And they, these schools are paying, like, 500 quid for this. And it, it, another school for the 7- to 11-year-olds, they're going in and they're teaching them about creating a gender-neutral character. So not just the sex stuff, they're literally indoctrinating our kids with an ideology. It's insane that this has gone on. It's gone on now for a bunch of years. How the schools have let them, this just happen. And not only that, the story at the end here that is that there's a mum who said... Oh, because she's got, like, four foster kids, and she says, uh, who are sort of 12 to 30, and the two, the 12 to 13-year-olds were going in, learning about, like, gender and whatever, and said, look, can I please see what you're exactly teaching them, because I want to make sure you're teaching them about sex, and sex as a class, and being a binary characteristic or whatever. She goes, gets called into the school. She's confronted with social workers, an educational advisor, a member of the school staff had alerted the authorities, just because she said, can I just make sure what you're teaching? So now the mum has uh, started legal action against that teacher for making the play. How has this has gone on? And, and you know what? And you've still got Labour people. This, like, this Labour Brighton Frank MP guy was talking... I heard him in Parliament the other day, and he was saying... And this is his argument, right? He was saying, oh, my... And it's a, ter- it's a tragedy. I think his 15-year-old niece died of this sexual thing, auto fixation or whatever like that. And he's saying, this is why we've got to teach it to these kids because we've got to let them know safety. But no! Good. Yeah, yeah! Encourage don't, it. Don't, you know, someone dies of an overdose, don't teach them how to use needles properly yeah. or whatever. It's insane! And like I said, my 9-year-old, my 13-year-old, they came home, they, t- they said to... Oh, I, like, that they, these external people have been coming in to teach themselves, and I actually quizzed them down the boat. What exactly did they say? What did they teach you about sex as a class? And my 13-year-old told me... And this, because, because I remember a few years ago when I wasn't as up on this, my 13-year-old had come in and he was then at about uh, 10, and he told me that he'd been taught about, like, the gingerbread thing and how sex is actually a spectrum. I mean, my kids are being taught anti-science. And, you know, they go to a Jewish school, so I'm... You know, there is a little bit of anti-science. There's <laughs> yeah. this whole God thing. They're, 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 they're wrong. They're wrong anti There's some God science. There's some God stuff. But this stuff infuriates me. And but my, this is what my son did. He said to these external providers, they said, does anyone have any questions? He said, yeah. Um, do, what do, you, do you think it's fair that biological men competing in women's sport? And it's like you realise that you're talking to your family and stuff and how much they pick up on it. Yeah. And, and this of course, is... your, your son is a keen watcher of GB News. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, hey, 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 Morty. And uh, you know what they did? totally copped out, and they went, yeah, that's a really interesting question. You know, I think it's great how we've got lots of gay footballers coming out at the moment and whatever, and totally sidestep the yeah. whole thing. But his classmates afterwards were like, but I'm already... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, on a, on a, like, on a, just a basic level, who needs to be taught masturbation? Like, I think men, even monkeys at the zoo do it. 
So, I, you know, we to don't be honest, need to I, do... I actually could have. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to do it between your knees or something? I don't really want to go into it, but, but I could have had a little bit of help. And also teaching people about kink. I, yeah, I, yeah. Nobody wants to have a state-sanctioned kink. That takes all of the kink out of it. If it's something that, you know, some Sunday school teacher is t telling you to do... Well, it's, weirdly, it's although it's kind of uh, dressed up as uh, tolerance and diversity and inclusion... Uh, really, it's perversion, isn't it? Yes. And you mentioned child abuse. I don't think that's too strong an expression, uh, that you're essentially sort of grooming children for sex, or, or not for sex, but you're, there is a sort of grooming element or a brainwashing aspect to this. There, there is, it's to, and that's why they need to be on top of it. That's not to say don't go into schools and teach kids that there are different types of families, that there are people who are attracted, same-sex attracted people, uh, you, you know, and that's all great. And What do paedophiles do? They show children pornography and then they abuse children, right, it's very often. So many examples online of people who are involved in going into schools and teaching stuff and, and all the other things and coming from America and these drag shows and these people who have been pushing these agendas and then it turns out, guess what, they're done in because they've got some, like, child porn on oh, yeah. their computer and, and whatever. And do you think they're Republicans or do you think they're the left? This is the future the left wants, Josh. You still want to be on the left? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I think you might be like a lot of people on the left who feel that the left has left. No, the left, the left is fighting back. There are parts of the left now absolutely fighting back against it. The Judean People's Front. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right.